petal in. We'll just take a few breaths, trying to ease into expanded breath. So start with just your regular breath, just noticing it, and then over time, letting it open a bit more and a bit more. Breath expands into the back. Bring your hands together to the heart. Release the hands, cat cow. Gently blink open your eyes. Just getting into a little free movement here in the spine. Rolling from the tailbone and letting the rest of the spine move naturally along the way into the top of the head. Nice long breaths up through the body. If it feels good to hold your exhales a little longer, letting the, the chin come down, rounding through the back, rounding through the back of the neck. Come upright, roll the shoulders down. Take a little bit of time with your shoulders, maybe one at a time, like you're swimming or both together if that feels good. Easy, take the hands to anchor at the Mat at your sides, ground into the fingers, roll your shoulders back a little, and we'll just easy through the neck, bringing it down towards your right shoulder, your chin towards the right shoulder, and then down across the chest to the other side, making it roll back and forth like a U shape. Don't strain. Keep your jaw soft, keep your eyebrows soft. Yeah. 
Easy, let your chin come back up and to midline. Give yourself a hug across the body. Relax into the arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. to take a breath in forward fold, relaxing the heart, and then inhaling, drawing the spine in, rounding like cat pose, and then relaxing again. And then bring the hands back up and change your leg position if you'd like to, continuing cat cow. Upright, roll the shoulders, stretch your arms side to side, big reach up through the fingers, bring it into the heart, press the hands together gently and back up, reverse, fingers all the way pressing out side to side until you bring them down, back up, we're getting into your shoulder blade movements, the muscles surrounding the shoulder blades, the rotation of the arms. Notice what it feels like when you draw your arms down, when you push the hands together, just holding awareness through the motions. One more round. And release them out side to side. Let it go back to forward fold. Anchor the hands. Exhale, soften your heart. Inhale, draw in through the front body, open through the back. Soften and release. Do it again, inhale. And exhale. Good. Walk your hands back up. Let's go ahead and come up into our table and keep flowing into your cat cow. Uh, walk your hands up, come up to kneeling, and we'll just take a moment with our wrists, maybe circles, maybe massage, any stretch that feels good if you like drawing your fingers up and down. Good. Bring the hands down, come up to down dog.
another breath in down dog, just stretching it out, finding your balance side to side, front and back. One more exhale into your heels. Come all the way forward. Slowly rise up, stretch up to the sky. Exhale, release your arms. Maybe sway your arms a little bit. Rolling them in and out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Be here in your forward fold. Two more breaths. Half lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Forward fold. Lengthen, half lift, and step into plank pose. Take a moment in your plank pose. Exhale, come all the way down, knees down, elbows hug back. Five cobras. Lots of intention through each part of your body here. Good. Push back up to down dog. In down dog, stretch your right leg up. Give them just a little movement there. Take a breath. Change legs, let that leg come down. Here we are, other side. Just a big stretch up. Really feeling into your leg today. And let that come down and come all the way forward. Rise up, standing in mountain pose. Oh, good, inhale up, forward fold, let it go. Half lift, stepping into your plank pose. Exhale, come all the way down. Three cobras. Back to down dog. Stretch your left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Come up into crescent lunge. Lower your hands, step back into plank. Come through Chaturanga, up dog or cobra, if that feels warmed up for you. Back to down dog. Inhale to take the right leg up. Exhale, step it forward, rise up. Okay, 
hands down, step back, come through your chaturanga. Each time is a new opportunity, right? Each time, different energy, a new inhale, a new exhale. Pushing back up to down dog. And come all the way forward. Rise up. And mountain. Good. Let's come down to chair pose. Sink in a little bit. Take care of your low back. Think about drawing everything in and up through the front body. As you're sinking down and back, holding a little space for your low back. You might even have your hands. It feels interesting to the low back. Kind of sensing, am I pushing my tail really far back? Can I maybe neutralize just a little bit? Keep lifting up through the navel. Up, release your arms. Good. Take your right leg back into warrior one. So just angle it out, step it back, toes, heel, there we are. Warrior one with the right leg back. And let's rise and sink a little bit. Notice what it feels like in your inner knee, just to um, hold awareness to the inner, inner knee in that front leg, just in case there's any cranky sensations. I'm just reaching up, sinking into my knee, and lengthening out as if I was gonna come into pyramid. Noticing what you feel through the back leg as you come up. Bend down, grounding into your back foot. Good. Next time, hold your, your warrior, warrior one. Awesome. We're going to fly, warrior three. Come into it. You just take your back foot, stepping it forward first. So the toes point down, straight back through that leg. Arms can fly forward or back, be at the hips, maybe. And you might have a little soft bend in that, that standing leg. There's a strong leg, but the knee can have a little bend in it. If that helps you, Land into your mountain pose. Scan through your body, let go. Go to the low back, let go of the jaw. Angle out the other foot, left foot back. Warrior one. Rise and sink. into your back leg as you come up. How does it feel across the hip, across the front of the thigh? How's your back knee? Sink into it, hold, breathe. Fly. Warrior three airplane. Landing to mountain pose. Ah, good, come down to chair. You might even lift up your toes, sinking back. Inhale, lift up, interlace the fingers, press up, a big stretch. Exhale, release, forward fold. Taking another breath or two here in your forward fold. Good. 
So we'll get in a little deeper. Half lift and take the left foot back, all the way back. Pad your knee if, if that helps you. Taking care of our knees. So and ease that back knee to the mat. Reach your arms up, big stretch up. If you sink in a little bit into that front knee, lift up and sink in. So we're just getting in a little bit more. You might adjust the feet. I like having the hands uh, kind of like spreading from the waist to the hip, just this whole kind of holding on to the pelvis. Just to see what I notice. Creates a more centered feeling for me personally. Good, hold, arms up, big breath. Exhale, bring your hands down. You can lift up your back knee to twist. You might walk your front knee, your front foot out, twisting open towards that front knee. Strong, stable shoulder, front shoulder blade, top shoulder blade rolling towards the spine, open space all the way through those fingers, straight up to the sky. Good, rotate your hand down. If you walked your front foot out, bring it in and lengthen out your front leg, pointing the toes up, drawing your hips back. You might walk your hands forward. We're gonna relax here. Listen in. Notice where you feel, what you feel, adjust as needed. And roll forward, step back into your plank pose. Awesome. Draw your knees down, bring your legs together. Side plank, it could be forearm or with the hand down, of course. Side plank with your legs together first. We'll go, we'll do it a couple of times, options. First, we're getting this sensation of squeezing the legs in, drawing that energy through the spine, through the top of the head. Everything's drawing in, ribs in, and change. Other side. And rotate back. Come on through your chaturanga if that's lifting the knees into a plank or coming down through a knee plank. Up dog warrior cobra, back to down dog. Stretch your left leg up. And we're bringing it all the way forward. Coming into this long lunge on this side, draw your back knee down as needed. Anjane Asana. And we'll just rise and sink a little bit here. If this leg grinds on your back knee, please put a pillow underneath it or some more cushion. Or don't do it as much. Maybe you decide to be stable instead. Just noticing it through both legs, but especially that back leg. If there's an angle or a place that feels extra good to hold, Holding up those muscles, arms up, breathe. Exhale, your hands down, coming into your twist.
and release your hand down with your front foot walked out, bring it in and lengthen out. Again, here we're just holding a moment. You can soften your hands if possible. You're gripping a lot through the hands. You're gripping in your jaw. Bend into your front knee, step back into your plank, side plank, your option through your legs, your option to do it from the forearm. I'm starting on my right side this time. Do it on either side. Change. Exhale, rotate out, come all the way down. Take a little pillow out of your hands, bend your knees, windshield wipe the legs side to side, letting go. Let go when you can, you know. Maybe move your ankles. Good. With the knees open, come to the forearms and we're just kind of like sliding the hips back into a froggy style kind of stretch. So not as deep as possible, but my knees are open. It's like child's pose-ish, frog pose-ish, <laughs> but a little higher. So I'm just like stretching back. You can open your knees more if it feels good. Maybe you're okay with a frog pose, maybe not even. Good, come on up to down dog. Awesome, stretch your right leg up. We're just stepping it forward. Come up through crescent lunge to rise up. Step forward, mountain. Let it go. Come down to chair. Please be mindful in your chair twist. If you have any issues in your low back, you might want to take it a little easy. Sinking back, hands to the heart, twist over to the left. Keep your knees level, keep your feet level. Hips level. Top shoulder blade drawing towards the spine. Unravel and then come up. I almost feel I'm like using my hands to come up. Bring the hands back to the heart, down to chair, twist the other way. Good, come out. <sighs> Open that wide onto your mat. Into your wide forward fold. Another moment in your wide fold, just sinking in. Good. 
bend your knees and come up. Awesome. Open out to the left. Set up into your warrior two. Bring your hands to offering arms if that's okay. Elbows down without pushing your ribs forward. Just taking a, a little softer warrior two. Sensing your exhales. Get into the, the sweet power of your exhale. Lengthen out into your triangle. Strong front leg, secure your kneecap. Stretch your top hand overhead, giving a long stretch through the side body. Let that go, bring your hand down, reverse your warrior up and over. Keep breathing. Good. Slide into side angle. Just one long breath. Open up like you're just opening up that side of the ribs to the sky, giving space. And let it go. Good. Come back up. Springtime loves space in the sides, in the ribs. Stretch up and fall. Stretch side to side. If it feels good to like bend your knees with it, bending one knee, walking the hands away from there. Or if you just like bending into the knees in general. Rise up, setting up to the right. Warrior two, set up, and then we'll switch to offering arms again. Strong front leg, strong back leg, ribs in. Lengthen out into triangle. Stretch it overhead. Ooh. Gentle, gentle, bring that hand down, bend your knee, reverse warrior. Breathing space into the ribs. Good. Release from there into your side angle. I like to think of the ribs as like, like really uh, kind of like young tree branches that sort of like green. Come on up. Wide forward fold. So just think of them as like more pliable, I guess, more free, although they're so strong and secure. Rib cage. I like to think about them being able to flow and open and receive. Reducing rigid feeling. Walk your hands forward, draw your hips back. You might even bend the knees if that feels good, kind of sinking into your hips, lengthening back out. Good. Let it go, come on up. Heel toe, release the leg. Uh, 
done? Um, I'd like to do that shoulder stretch opening up the wall. Like is a strong word. I don't like to do it at all. It hurts to me, but it's a good thing to do. So go ahead and find a wall if you can. Anchor your hands, drawing away. Let that side go, other side. I think with the yoga practice and poses and stretches, we come up, become, uh, there's space as well. You know, the things that we don't like, we hold space for, we become curious, we invite that a little bit more and Being open replaces those sort of like hard judgments. Thank goodness. <laughs> Let it go. What else? Tree pose. Go ahead and ground in. Take your left leg up. Hug it up. Stand. Open out into your tree. If you always have the same position for your, but you might try a different position if it's above or even lower, if that is interesting to try, just not at the knee. From your tree, if you need to bring your foot down, no problem. We're going to come into a twist here. If you can, transition slowly, gently, bringing that knee across the body into your standing twist. Bringing your hand to the outside of the knee, above, above the knee there at the thigh. Stretch open through your hand. Take a breath. And ease out. Try to come out of poses very slowly, very gently. Creates a sense of balance and grace. Um, grace, you know. I promise after I say that I'm gonna fall over completely and fall out of the pose. It's like every time. <laughs> We're other side. Hugging the knee up first. Getting a little stretch through the inner leg that way. Open out into your tree pose. Try to slide into your twist. Taking it slow. Almost imagining the way like Tai Chi uh, practitioners move. Then slide out. Awesome. Come on back to the front of your mat. Let's come down into. Um, forward fold and we'll just come all the way down. I think. Take a moment in your forward fold if it feels good to sway. Coming down to your tabletop. 
Finding some side movement here. Gazing over your shoulder, drawing the hips in that same direction. So it's like I'm side bending side to side. My hips move to the left. My left shoulder tends to kind of draw towards the hip. And my right shoulder tends to draw up. So I'm just sliding lateral flexion of the spine, lateral side to side movement. Good, sink back to child's pose, let go. If it feels good in child's pose to do um, devotional pose with the hands together behind the neck. If you do that, you might just gently press your point your fingers in. If you've done that easy, let go of your arms. Roll up to your seat. And then coming up to your butterfly position, your butterfly forward fold. Look from your butterfly, keep your legs, take your arms across to the opposite leg somewhere along the way, and round back. Good and easy, come out from there. Let's take the uh, right leg forward. Reach up and fold. Ooh, my pillow. I've been really into having a pillow under my knee for this. Draw the top of the head towards the toes, gazing gently down at your leg. Letting your head come down maybe a little further. Come up, take the bent knee over for twisting. And talk, just check into the back shoulder there. What's happening in the hand, what's happening in the shoulder. Lifting up through the back of the neck. So we're lengthening the back of the neck. An easy unravel. Let's change legs out.
Hook your hands up, twisting on this side. Historically, I would do this with my back fingertips down and my palm lifting. I'm trying to get into um, the palm down as well. And then easy let back. into a comfortable seat for a moment, whatever that is for you. We'll just do a little bit of stretch through the neck before we lay down. So I'm just going to anchor my fingers, I might even slide my hand down the front side of my neck. Drawing the chin away from where the hands are going. Letting the hands fan out little by little to the side of the shoulder. If there's one spot that's like, ooh, that has feeling, you could just keep going there if it feels good. Change sides. And easy, let that go. Ah, oh, so nice. Go ahead and come back to your back. We'll take a moment relaxing into the back and come into a figure four. So I'm going to start my figure four with the left leg, crossing it over and hugging in. Try to find a balance of effort and relaxation. If you need more effort to draw the legs in, but when you get there, try to soften again. Find softness in your arm. If you like to straighten out the other leg and hold up onto the leg, drawing it closer, let it go. Change sides.
on this side if you like to lift that leg. And ease on out. Bring the feet to the ground. Slide the knees side to side. Happy baby. Take time, stretching out one leg at a time in your happy baby, pointing one leg up, bending into the other one, just getting into it. Whatever angle feels good for you. Letting that go, coming back to just normal happy baby, rocking if it feels good. Bring the feet together. Hug them close. Let it go, coming into your twist. Come out to twist the other way. And ease out and come into whatever positions or movements feel good for you. If you need anything else, if anything else will be serving to your body. Another few breaths to let go before you come into your Shavasana. you're ready to settle in, go ahead, close your eyes. You can scan through the body, maybe taking a moment to tense up the hands and let them go. Squeeze in the arms and let it go. Taking a big stretch or um, through your back, through the front, let it go. Squeezing your legs. Release. Tense up the feet. And let it go. Mm -hmm. 